I'm pleased to meet you. I'm going to look over your shoulder while you help our settlers set up a new home. Um, by the way, I'm Ella. At the moment, all our settlers are in the Pathfinder, and you can explore the surrounding area with them. But time is tight. When the water in the Pathfinder is used up, everyone inside will die of thirst. You can use our Pathfinder to explore the wasteland. Send it off and try to find a site for another settlement. We have found a new zone. Take a look at it when you get a chance. It might be worth it to build a new settlement on it. New instructions? All clear. All clear. a location for the center of our settlement. Once chosen, the location cannot be changed. Place the settlement center near key resources such as water, trees, and scrap ruins. First off, we have to ensure survival. We need water so that we won't die of thirst. Build a jetty by a body of water and assign enough workers to secure our supply. The jetty pumps water as long as workers are assigned to it. Make sure there is always enough water available. If the supply runs low, assign more settlers to work at the jetty. Water alone is not enough to survive. We need to eat, too. Build a foraging hut near trees and assign workers to it so that they can search for food.
The foraging hut produces food as long as there are sufficient resources in its vicinity. If a region's resources are ever used up, you can relocate the work area of a foraging hut at any time. We need building materials to erect new buildings. The woodcutter's hut cuts down trees and produces wood out of them. If you run out of trees at some point, you can also relocate your work area. Awesome. Your woodcutter's hut is already producing. By the way, a production site can produce faster when it stands near a stockhouse. We don't have any stockhouses yet, but the town center has the same effect. Besides wood, the most important building material is scrap. Build a scrapyard which collects scrap that is lying around or extracts it from old ruins. Well done. Now the settlement will be supplied with scrap. Until it runs out, that is. Don't forget that you can move the work area in the scrapyard. Our people are still sleeping beneath the stars. Let's build dwellings and create living space for more inhabitants. As long as they have enough living space, our settlers will reproduce and have children. Our settlement is thriving. Let's build a recycler to produce plastic. If the scrapyard is located nearby, the recycler will produce faster.
Buildings that process resources work faster when they are located near their source. The recycler requires scrap, so it benefits from being placed near the scrapyard. The workshop not only needs scrap, but wood as well. It's best if both resources are produced nearby, but don't worry if you're not able to place it perfectly. The workshop will be able to do its work anyway. Very good. Now we have plastic and tools, things which are needed in some buildings for production. They are also important to be able to build more complex buildings in the first place. The settlement is growing, and soon there won't be enough food and water. Build a fishery to support the foraging hut. Though the fishery is more effective than the foraging hut, it constantly uses up tools. For this reason, the fishery produces faster when tools are produced near it.
Now we also need cloth. Cloth is produced from fibers and they have to be grown first. To do this, build a plantation on fertile soil, as that's the only way to create fields. Well done. Up till now, we can only grow fibers, but if we find more types of seeds, then we can cultivate them on the plantation too. The fibers are crafted into cloth at a weaving mill. This requires water in addition to fibers, so make sure that sufficient supplies of water are always available. Great! If the water supply ever runs low, you can pause the work at the weaving mill, saving valuable drops. Always ensure that there is enough living space for the settlement to keep growing. We're going to need all the helping hands we can get.
thanks to our joint efforts, our little settlement will soon be thriving and our stock houses will be full. If the storage site is full, it needs to be expanded. There is a storage site for water, one for food, and one for all other materials. Place storage sites near your production sites so that they can produce quickly. Each stock site increases the maximum number of resources that can be stockpiled in a settlement. If the stocks are full, our production sites cease their work. Vicinity to a stock house and easy access are important features for production buildings. A production site produces more effectively when it is connected to the town center by a road. Super. The more buildings you connect via your road network, the more stable the production at your settlement is going to be.
When our economy thrives, it also uses up more resources. Luckily, we can regrow our wood. That's what we have the tree nursery for. Awesome. The tree nursery will plant trees within its work area that can be used again by the woodcutting lodge. That way, we create a healthy loop. The needles of the Geiga counters begin to swing harder. A sharp increase in radiation is going to occur soon. We should start to get sufficient protective clothing ready. Oh no! We have to act fast. We need to produce protective clothing to shield us against the radiation. And for that, we need coal. is made from wood. When wood gets scarce, assign more settlers to the woodcutter's hut or build a second one. The tailor's shop can make protective masks out of coal and cloth. They ought to be sufficient for the time being. Our settlement already produces cloth and we have just taken care of getting coal. is contaminated and our settlers are unprotected, that can mean the end of the settlement. The protective clothing we've just produced is truly a blessing. It our fears have been confirmed. The radiation levels are rising sharply. The higher the radiation level in a particular zone, the better we have to protect our settlers. 
If the residents are not adequately protected, their exposure to radiation will rise. Excessive radiation exposure will gradually kill off our settlers. Although the protection is sufficient for the time being, we'll soon need to prepare ourselves for potentially stronger radiation, whether from radiation, poor supplies, or simply old age. Sooner or later, we'll have to say farewell to all our settlers. We need a place where we can lay the dead to rest. Thanks a lot. Now we have a place to mourn and commemorate those who came and went before us. I think we've put down roots here, and we should continue to expand our settlement. The next thing we should do is fire bricks, and for that, we need clay. We're not able to simply mine clay yet. We lack the necessary expertise for that. For some advanced technologies like this, we first have to accumulate the necessary knowledge to be able to conduct research. You first have to track down ancient knowledge in the wasteland. You can start an expedition at some of the ruins to obtain knowledge points. Take the Pathfinder and go explore the wasteland. Sooner or later, you'll find where our settlers can disembark and start an expedition under supervision. Investigate this ruin until we have earned a knowledge point. I'm at the wheel. Got it? I'm at the wheel. The water is running out. If nothing changes, it'll be the end of us. We've got to do something. I'm at the wheel. Got it? There's a converted buggy standing in this garage. We ought to take a closer look at it. The best would be if we try to lower the car lift somehow.
I'll take a look. As long as the car lift is raised, we can't examine the vehicle. I'll take a look. The mattress hasn't been used for a while, but whoever fixed up their cars here lived here for a spell too. Sure is lonesome out here. I'm in. I'm in. The mattress hasn't been used for a while, but whoever fixed up their cars here lived here for a spell too. Sure is lonesome out here. This control unit needs power in order to work. I'll take a look. I'll do it. Will do. Let's go. Let's go. It worked. This control unit needs power in order to work. Will do. I'm in. I'll take this with me. On the road! Our explorers have extensively explored this ruin and consequently received one knowledge point. We can also use that point to research the kinds of technologies that require knowledge points. The knowledge points you've collected can be used to research new technologies. In order to research the clay pit, you'll need to use knowledge points in the economy branch.
New instructions? Got it? Let's go. On my way. There's lots of scrap lying around here. We're sure to find things that are still useful here. I'll take a look. I'll pack that. I'm in. Will do. I'll pack that. This old safe can't be cracked without substantial effort. Done. I'll take this with me. Engine running. Great. We can build clay pits with that. Our settlers will have to collect knowledge for further research in the future as well. Maybe now would be a good time to explore some more ruins. It's up to you. Clay is mined in a clay pit which has to be placed at a clay deposit. If there isn't a clay deposit in a particular zone, then you can't obtain any clay there. The water is running out. If nothing changes, it'll be the end of us. We've got to do something. Awesome. Clay is the basis for a completely new building material. Don't forget that the clay pit benefits from a connection to a road and to depots in the vicinity. Now the newly obtained clay has to be fired into bricks. This is done at the brickyard. It's best if you place it near the clay pit. By the way, we don't need a knowledge point to investigate the brickyard.
As you see, the brickworks begins to work right away when coal and clay are made available to it. You're doing just fine. If I'm too fast for you or something goes wrong, then let me wait and take care of the survival of our settlement. Build, when necessary, new jetties, wells, fisheries, and so on to safeguard the supply situation. In addition to radiation, the health of a settlement can also become a problem. The more settlers, the faster a settlement's state of health can change. The first thing we should do is build a swamp farm for growing herbs.